Glenn Beck III. I'm a lecturer here at the Graduate School of Business. I teach a course called Family Business. I've taught this course for about the last seven years, and I'm really looking forward to having another group of students in the class this winter. Family ownership is the dominant form of firm ownership worldwide. By some measure, 90% of firms are owned by families. Although I have great respect for the academic enterprise, I am not myself an academic. I'm a practitioner. I run a 75-year-old family business based in Houston. As such, I have a deep knowledge of how family business works. But we're going to not be just talking about my family business. We're going to be talking about the general issues that face all family businesses, regardless of where they're located or what they do. So what are some of the issues that we're going to be discussing in my family business course? Well, one of the most important is the problem of governance. What's the proper role for governance in family business? The role of the shareholders, the role of the management, the role of the board. We pay particularly close attention to the board. Everybody loves a winner. So Rod and Ralph and Sarah were on their way to visit Cousin Percy when they saw a new billboard. Well, I'm sorry you're bored. Why don't you guys go do something? Another common issue that comes up in family business is the non-family members. How do you recruit and attract and retain and compensate non-family members? What do you do about a family member who's not performing in a family firm? Look, Leo, I, it was a good idea, but I just don't think this is, this filming is going so well. So I, I think it's just I, I'm going to have to take over at this point. Sorry about that. And then there's the issue of intergenerational wealth transfer. How do you pass on a family's wealth from one generation to the next? How should you think about the questions of inheritance with respect to your children and your grandchildren? Hey, Dad, do you have 20 bucks? Yeah. And what about the problem of CEO succession? Family businesses are often started by strong, charismatic people. How do they plan for their successor? How do you think about that within a family business context? And so, after a lot of serious consideration and thought, I decided that really I think you should be the successor to me in the company and be the organization's next CEO. What do you think about that? the issue of conflicts. Family businesses are famous for their conflicts. Of course, all businesses have conflicts, but how should you think about resolving conflicts in a family business context? Yeah. Okay. Hey! Hey! Hey guys, hey, hey, come on. It's a little unusual. We only meet on Mondays, Monday afternoons, three hours. We break each class into two parts. First part is a case discussion where we talk about some of these issues. The second part is a visitor or a discussion about specific family businesses. Now, in the first half of the course before the midterm break, we will be having visitors who come in and tell us about their family business, actual practitioners. After the midterm break, the students themselves will have an opportunity talk about their family business experiences or their views on family business. Now, the case discussions, they're brisk and demanding, and you have to come prepared. But overall, the workload of the course is relatively modest. Do a couple of case write-ups, and there will be a project that's a group project. There is no final examination. Now, at this point, you may be asking yourself, is this the course for me? Well, it certainly is if you come from a family business or plan to go back to a family business. But many students have found the course rewarding even if they don't have a family business connection because given how prevalent family businesses are around the country, 
you're likely to run into a family business if you're consulting, you're looking to buy a business, or downstream looking to start your own business that may evolve into a family business. So if this sounds interesting to you, I'd love to see you in class this winter. And cut. Uh, that's a wrap. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What are you guys doing?